tells you all you need to know about deputy pumpkins. Can I just say to you, with funding from the state to the arts under extreme pressure, it's important that we put in place structures to encourage people who are well, who are wealth, who are wealthy people can make donations, give money to the arts. Can decide to everybody has to have that facility. The Philanthropy Leverage Initiative is welcome, and I hope it succeeds, encouraging more donations to the art and cultural sector. Corporate sponsorship has been a great support to the arts and cultural organisations in Ireland over the last 10 years, but the, but the collapse of our banks and our development companies has ended a major source of revenue uh, for the arts. Alternative sources need to be found, and we should encourage as the many tech and pharma companies located here to support the arts, and many new ones have been opening over recent months and years, and they should be encouraged to uh, support the arts here in Ireland as long as the DEPI outlined. Now, we put billions into the banks, and what have we got in return? We got some of the better pieces from AIB and Bank of Ireland extensive collection have been given to the state. But one item that hasn't is the building currently occupied by the Bank of Ireland on College Green, where our first parliament sat. As a gesture to the Irish people, I believe that bank uh, that the Bank of Ireland should gift Grattan's Parliament to the people of Ireland or to the City of Dublin. It's a perfect location for a central library, library or an art centre for the city or for the country. Should we find ourselves in a position where any further state support has to be given to the Bank of Ireland, it should be a conditional on College Green be given to, over to the state. We, the people of Ireland, control 15% of the shares of the Bank of Ireland, and I would call on the Minister for Finance, through our representatives on the board, to ask again for the Irish Parliament to be given to the state. The Bank of Ireland must recognise the support the Irish people has shown in keeping alive as a functional bank. The next issue I wish to address is the recent report from the Forum on Fundraising. It sets out a worthy goal of increasing giving from 60% to 500 million uh, to 800 million by 2016. However, it proposes a series of changes in tax laws to encourage giving, and I've always a fear of tax breaks, whether that be for nursing homes or for the art. I think providing a tax relief to the wealthy so they can give more money to worthy cause is questionable in the current climate. If somebody wants to give a million or 20 euros, the, sh the state should not be subsidising their personal choice to give money. That subsidy is at the expense of social services. The government must make a decision for in the common good. A private donor has a choice about who or what they give their money to. The current rules on tax relief already discriminates against the ordinary citizen, as, uh, as you must donate over €250 Euros to a single charity before, claim, before you can claim relief, which goes to the charity if you're a PAYE worker. I would question any change to the current tax regime. The report makes six proposals for, on the fiscal and tax infrastructure, but there are two that I would have strong reservations about. On the first, I believe the relief should be reduced to the standard rate, and I believe any tax breaks should be at the standard, standard rate of 20% and not 33% as, as proposed in the report. I agree that the threshold should be lowered to €250. Euros. On the second proposal, decoupling relief for high earner restriction. I believe the cap should be at €80,000, should be lowered, not removed or increased to a million. Donations should not require a public subsidy that reduces the amount of state re revenue available to the democratic decisions of this parliament. The common good <coughs> must always win out. Tax breaks will reduce the money that we have available to hospitals, schools and childcare. The idea of allowing companies and wealthy people to decide where their tax euros go is against the democratic good, and we see many tax exiles deciding on which way they will make donations rather than paying taxes here in the Republic. There are other proposals I have issues with, but I don't have time to go into them at all. So I want to finish. At a time of austerity and reductions in spendings across social services, I have to repeat that it would be questionable to provide tax relief to millionaires to give to worthy causes 
of their own selection. If someone wants to donate their wealth, they should not need a subsidy from the taxpayer. Thanks, Chair.